I'm Dr. Nathan Kelber, and I'm the Community Engagement Lead with JSTOR Labs. I'm here to help you today get started with Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter Notebooks are documents that contain both computer code, like Python or R, alongside explanatory images, figures, videos, and links. Most importantly, the code in a Jupyter Notebook can be executed in the environment. It can also be modified and deleted. As you explore this notebook, please feel free to modify the text, the code, and anything else. You can always launch another instance of this notebook that will restore it to its original configuration. Similar to the way an essay is composed of paragraphs, Jupyter Notebooks are composed of cells. A cell is like a container for a particular kind of content. In Jupyter Notebooks, there are essentially two kinds of cells, markdown cells and code cells. We can see a markdown cell up here. It's white. We can see a code cell here. It has a grayish background and it has the word in next to it. Let's try executing some code in a code cell. First, I'm going to locate the code cell I want and click on it. Then I'm going to type in the code and execute it. I'm going to use Python here. So I type print, open parenthesis, single quotation mark, and I'm going to enter hello world. Now, to run this code, I have a couple options. I can either go up here and click on run to run the code, or if I'm on a Mac, I can press shift to return to run the code immediately. If I'm on Windows, I can press Control enter After your code runs, you'll receive any kind of output. In this case, we're just printing Hello World. After it's done executing the code, you'll notice a number appears in the brackets here. While the code is executing, however, there will be an asterisk. Let me give an example to demonstrate. So first I'm going to add some code to just say we're going to wait five seconds. Then I'm going to add some code to wait five seconds. And then we're just going to print done. You don't need to understand all of this code for now. I'm just doing this so that you can see what the asterisk looks like when we're executing code so you can recognize it. So here we have the asterisk, and as the code gets ready to complete, it turns into a number when it's done. Let's try creating and deleting cells. If I want to create a cell, I just need to go up and click on the plus button. By default, a code cell will be created. Now I can change this over to a markdown cell by simply going up to this menu here and changing it to markdown. Now let's say I wanted to delete that cell. I have a couple options. I can select the cell I want to delete, go up to edit, and then choose delete cells. Or alternatively, I can click the cell that I want to delete and I can press D, the letter D, twice on my keyboard. It's that easy. Let's make some changes to our cells. So for a code cell, it's fairly simple. We just click in the code cell that we want to change, and we make our changes just like any other text box. For a markdown cell, we need to double click on the markdown cell, which will open up an editor. From this editor, we can make changes. Then simply either run the cell again by hitting run up here at the top, or, if you're on a Mac, hit Shift Return. On Windows, hit Control Enter. You might wonder, what is Markdown? Well, Markdown is basically a way to give style to your text. So, in this Markdown cell here, I can double click on it to take a look at the text underneath. And I can see that the heading here is styled using this hashtag. So, to create a heading, we add a hashtag in front of some text. If we want to create a smaller heading, we can add additional hashtags see the way that it shrinks each time I add a hashtag there. Now, if I want to style some of this text, I can take this word cell, I can add an asterisk on both sides of the word cell, and essentially that will make that uh, word into italics. If I want to make it bold, I can add an additional asterisk. Uh, I can also do things like create, uh, let's say, an ordered list. Or if I want to create a, uh, a bulleted list, 
that's also a possibility. Maybe I want to create uh, some type of link. So for the text that I want to be a link, I put brackets around it. And then afterwards, uh, I put in the address that I want it to go to. And it becomes a link. Uh, similarly, if I want to create an image, uh, I simply add an exclamation point head. Uh, for accessibility reasons, I add in a description. I'm going to call this JSTOR logo. And then I will add in some text that will link to that logo, and you can see it appears. Finally, if I want to add a, a horizontal rule, I can do that just by using three underscores. Uh, you can also use asterisks or hyphens as well. And then when I'm done with my editing, I simply run the cell and uh, the editor disappears. That's it for getting started with Jupyter Notebooks. I recommend you take Python Basics 1 next.